I want you to remember there is time for you to grow up, that you are always ending up where you need to be, in the places you belong. You are still uncovering your wisdom, and there is space for you to root into who you really are. Until then, it's okay to feel a little incomplete, and still know you are entirely, infinitely whole. I guess I imagined growing up would feel different, that one day I would wake up and know more than I did before, that a map would land in my hands telling me what to do with all this existence. I thought I'd grow up one day with it all figured out, knowing who I'd become and what life would make of me. But the thing is, in reality, growing up is like trying on a bunch of different costumes, wearing skins and hoping one of them will be a good fit, will feel like us, feel like home. Yet as we try on various costumes, and maybe even settle for some, a lingering sensation is left behind. Up our spine creeps a budding realization that none of the identities we tried on were ever who we were to begin with. That maybe the truth we've been seeking lies not in the costume, but in the entity that gets dressed. The spaciousness within that comes to life in endless forms, again and again. Because growing up is a never-ending journey, a floating from one body to another, no destination, no finish line, all so ambiguous, and perhaps that's the magic of it all. We want to settle in surety when the current of life pulls us further into a different truth, a truth that whispers, you are not at all who you think you are, and you never will be, because who you really are cannot be thought of, but known felt, experienced as pure possibility. Maybe growing up is just growing to realize there are no rules, no path but the one that is laid with every step into the abyss of sheer potential. Maybe growing up is to understand there is no beginning or end, only transformations in the moments they meet us, interludes as we become and unbecome, surprising ourselves at every turn, deepening through every valley, rising to the embodiment of our heart's desires. Maybe we are growing up to lean into possibilities instead of absolutes, to write our life stories out of fun instead of fear. In the embrace of our limitlessness, perhaps we melt the judgments and expectations we bind ourselves to. Like the radiant sun on a hot summer day, dissolving every cold thing that demands to stay solid, we become liquid. We flow with time, because there is time. Gift yourself this knowing, gift yourself this ease.